Good morning and welcome to my caucus. Yesterday I encouraged you, if you really want to see the work of the Lord unfold, I encouraged you to get on your face before the Lord and seek, seek His direction for your life, seek His direction for the church, that the purposes of God would unfold here in our community, in this nation, and throughout the world. And so in that, in keeping with that, my question is, why are we here? What are we about? Are we just looking like we want to have, we want to look like we have it all together? Or we just want to look a certain way? Or are we want to talk the big talk, like of all the things we've done that were so great and all the things we're going to do and all this stuff that's going to happen and, and build up the hype? Or do we really want to be about something? Do we really want to make a difference for the kingdom of God? I know that I want my life, I want my life to count for the Lord because he is so worthy. He is holy. He is majestic. He is glorious. And I want my life to be an act of worship to him so that he will be glorified. There's this great song by Hillsong called Evermore. And in the chorus, it says, above all, I live for your glory. And I want to encourage you with that today to let that be the thing that, that you speak out, Lord, above all else, above everything else, I want to live for your glory. Lord, I want to live for your glory. Let your life be a sacrifice to the Lord. Let your whole life, everything you do, everything you are, be an act of worship to the Holy King, the creator of all things. Be a living sacrifice for the Lord because he wants to use you. He wants you to partner with him. So he is waiting for us. The spirit is brooding around the throne in the throne room of heaven, waiting for the people of God to come into agreement and partner to see it released here on earth. And so today, my friends, I encourage you to truly allow yourself to live that living sacrifice for the glory of the Lord. Let your life be a sacrifice of praise in everything that you do because he is holy, he is good, he is faithful, he is the one and only true God and he wants you. So today, I encourage you, lay your life down for him and don't look back. Have a fantastic day and God bless.